Now on Hatter's player, manager John Steele, your thoughts on uh, the 2-0 defeat against Peterborough in the FA Cup this yeah, afternoon? Yeah, fair result, right result. Uh, but I thought we've competed really well. Uh, they've been free-flowing lately, scoring lots of goals. Uh, so we knew we'd have to do our share of defending. We thought we could break at them. Uh, Craig at the post, but they had other chances, I'm not wrong about that. And it was, it was just a hard exercise of trying to keep in the game for as, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> excuse me, for as long as we could. Um, and I think in that last little bit of the game, I thought they were just getting a bit nervy and they scored the goal. Well, you know, the last time we, we perhaps would have pushed on, couldn't make the, all of the, the things that we wanted to happen. We picked up a little bit of injury in the last day or two, so couldn't make the changes quite that I wanted. But, uh, boys done well, they've st stuck in really well. You just mentioned injuries there. Um, five changes to the side that lost to Newport, and we're looking at uh, the squad and looking at the players not featuring. Do you want to talk to us about what's happened the last few days and why the team was picked uh, as it uh, was? Well, uh, Scott Cuthbert uh, picked up an injury, so um, that was sort of almost yesterday, if, if you like. Um, with that, um, Scott Griffiths had been off a touch in training, so. I didn't know if it was anything in particular, but we decided that, that we wouldn't, excuse me, would, wouldn't go with that. Um, because they play a diamond and we, we, we felt that would be good to go, that just made our changes a little bit. Nathan Doyle, who played in the reserves on Tuesday or Wednesday last week, uh, we was always going to play him, so he came in. And we felt on this occasion it would be a good game for Paddy, not sure how long he'd go. We thought we could change him for... Uh, uh, Luke Gutteridge, with about 30 to go. Um, Luke Gutteridge got injured in the warm-up. <laughs> we couldn't use him, so we brought Greeny on. And uh, Jack was injured, so that's why Craig played. So Jack Marriott, what's the situation with Jack? Uh, he hurt himself in training on Thursday. So, um, shouldn't have gone, I should think, uh, maybe next week, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Maybe a bit more on Monday. And what about Scott Cuthbert? You mentioned he was injured, but what's yeah, the yeah, situation? Yeah, uh, uh, his hamstring um, responded a little bit to treatment, but nowhere near enough that he could play today. So it sounds as though the, the five changes, some through injury, some through choice for the, the, uh, the game today. Uh, the only one that I would say, if you like, particularly for, for choice, might have been Paddy. You know, I don't think the others were... Maybe because we changed our shape, that we, we wouldn't use Greeny. But he'd had a little run of games then, and, and had done well, to be fair, had, had done really well. Um, I thought the way we were going to play, probably the rest might be the best thing <coughs> excuse me, at the moment. You know, we keep picking up these injuries, and I'm just trying to protect players a little bit that have sort of been out uh, for whatever reason and, and come back in. Um, and, and play enough games, I don't want them to pick up injuries, so I just thought that might be a situation today. That wasn't the case for Paddy. You know, it was a sort of game I thought was, might be ideal for Paddy, if I'm honest. And it was mentioned about Peterborough, obviously, that the second goal that they killed the game, but they had many chances no, they, they should have wrapped it up long before then, no, to be fair, shouldn't no, they? No, they, they should have done, but they didn't. Did you feel at 1-0 in the second half there was the potential for getting back and getting... Well, when we, when we spoke at half-time, what we said is that we can, the longer it goes, that the it's football is natural, the nervier they'll get. And we actually got to that stage, we really did. Smudge made a great run, and no, he's not had a shot. I, I don't know, I really don't know. Um, but th this, I think today was a, a game that, in an ideal world, would have been made for Paul Benson. I really do. I thought we'd have brought the ball into play for us a bit more often. Um, but, you know, we, we worked tirelessly behind the front people, we really did. And Craig's at the, the, the post, looked like it was going in, but it didn't. I've got no complaints to the results, but I was just pleased that we competed all over the pitch. And, uh, I mean, a 2-0 scoreline perhaps isn't reflective of the 90 minutes, though, with the chances, Peterborough, we've had a look at the stats, 34 shots, 15 on target. You were a lot to Mark Tyler against his former side for no, keeping no, it that low. No, absolutely. I think Manchester United had 30 odd and didn't score a goal at all. So I can't answer for them. That's down to them. But, you know, for the away team, we, we set up well. I was pleased they were set up. And um, just looking at uh, a couple of players obviously playing against uh, former sides, so, uh, Leanne Gold was one, had some chances, yeah. showed what he was capable of doing. Yeah. But their man of the match, a player that 
we spoke about in the week um, that okay. wasn't signed. Yeah, no, absolutely. We, we, well, we, we'd actually signed him, but he, he failed the medical. And you know, as I said before, in, in view of the situation with Danny Spiller um, and uh, Gary Richards, the club didn't feel that that was the right thing to do. So we, we didn't sign him, but it was a, a, a little bit of, it was who uh, Ricardo sent us, I signed him for Dagnan. Uh, one of my old players, and then we had Mark Tyler and Scott Griffiths, uh, Craig, obviously, oh, a bit like that, wasn't it? Yeah. So, looking back then, <coughs> um, obviously not in the, in the uh, draw for round three, but against a, a side, a, a league above, do you feel that Luton have put in as much as they could have done I today? Thought so. yeah, I, 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 I thought we stuck to the task well. You know, they're on a rich lane of form, playing well. Our confidence is obviously a touch low, but I think we're gaining a lot of confidence from that today. I think the boys when they come and felt very positive about it. And um, back to work this week. And obviously the focus now, it's a cliche, but it's concentrate on the league and to try and get it's, back into that. It's all, it's, you know what, it's always about concentrating on the league. You do as best you can in the Cups and you want to do, the, particularly this competition, uh, do your best. But what, what I always say, at this level is that we're not going to win the FA Cup, we might get a great draw, we might not, but we might get a great draw, but we're in a competition in the league where we feel that if we can get it right, we, 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 we can progress in it, so that's our bread and butter. And how hopeful are you of the players that are out at the moment through injury to be featuring next week? Is it too uh, early uh, to uh, say? It's too early to say, absolutely, so I, mean, I, I don't really know. I'll, I'll know a bit more sort of Monday, Tuesday of, of this coming week. Thanks for your time. Thanks very much. Cheers. Was it disappointing that maybe more wasn't created after the break? I don't think they had anything out at the uh, Um Yeah, possibly. Uh, possibly. You know, what, what we felt we should do is stay in the game as long as we can and not be over and just try and stay in the game. And I thought we had decent spells of control, not control of the game, but control of the ball for decent powers and we moved it quite well. Um, I think that's possibly where we could have done with Benno, just to be able to play off of somebody. Um, and then, you know, Craig manfully down there, first game back, uh, performed manfully there, but I think just Paul holding on to the ball for a little bit might have given us a touch more opportunity around it. I guess it's taking a chance, wasn't it, because Wilkinson had a really good header when he scored for 0-0. I mean, good header. That goes in, it's different. And, and, and uh, Craig's effort, he said he got a touch off of somebody, but took it onto the post. But there is some maybe, don't they? So, it is what it is. Good, good. So